Hey guys, welcome. This is Brad Krantz. Hi, I'm Ruth Easterling. Hey, thanks to, for joining us here Friday. We're talking about change your world here. And, you know, we're going to talk about how anyone anywhere can make a difference. So how can you start to make a difference? Well, for me, I'm working in the business arena to help empower people through leadership. Ruth, how are, how are you helping people make a difference? Yeah, I'm trying to add value to different people's lives. Those who kind of feel stuck or they're trying to grow in their own personal lives. Mm-hmm. So I think one of the questions we could ask in Change Your World is what needs to change? And I'll say first and foremost, we each have to change. Ruth, right. is it, what do you think about that? Well, and Brad, the thing that I've noticed over this last year is that my attitude needs to change. And I must decide to make a difference by, through my attitude and through the choices that I make with my attitude. Absolutely. So to change our world, we have to change first. We have to be the ones that come forth with change. So if we look around our world, and I know it's not hard hard to do, but since last year, 2020 with COVID, et cetera, we had elections here too. It's pretty easy to see that things could change for the better. I think everybody would agree with us there. So let's ask a question. What do you see around you that needs to change? Ruth, I'll let you start with that. Okay. I believe that the first thing we need to do is we need to care about each other. And more than yeah. just let me tell you what I think about you, more about like, I care about the individual person. I care about what happens to you. And I care about who you are as a person. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I can say that I think number one, that's a great point. Obviously, we'd say around the world, things need to change there within our country, even with our state here. I'm not going to name it. We're in the Pacific Northwest. Um, but yeah, we have to care about each other as people, as fellow human beings, as people that are created in the image of God. So somebody has to do something for change to take place, right? It just doesn't happen in a vacuum. It doesn't happen vicariously. Um, so what are you waiting for before you bring about change? And I think for me, it's like, okay, I'm 60 years old. I got an excuse to say, I don't need to do anything more. I've worked. I want to do it. I want to be an instrument. I want to help empower people. So I've taken on the mantle of leadership to really help try to empower people through the business arena, but, and I'm not worried about age or, hey, I've got to learn new skills, teaching old dog, new tricks. Ruth, what was it for you? Well, I think the biggest thing that I'm doing right now is that I'm trying to help people to think about where are they in today's society, in today's world, and that even their decisions every single day will make a difference to the people that they yeah. come in contact with. Yeah. And I do it through lots of different ways one-on-one -on -one contact and through um, opportunities for leadership change and okay. the people around me. Okay. Yeah. So let's say, what would, you, what are you waiting for before you bring about change? Hey, join Ruth Easterling and myself here in the next couple of weeks as we begin to address this question in our introduction to change the world. Ruth, what would you like to close this out with? Well, I just want to empower you to look at the world as not just the little town that you live in or the state you live in or even the country you live in, but we need to make a difference today and it yeah. needs to start now. Absolutely, guys. Thanks for joining us today on Friday for Change Your World. Stay tuned. We'll have uh, some more episodes coming up, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.